Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That is Deb Chanel's 48th World. And hopefully you all are having a fabulous early in the wee hours day. Happy Saturday guys. Happy Saturday. I am trying to pump out some videos so y'all can get y'all laugh on, y'all enjoyment of entertainment on through all of these salacious, slanderous type of entertainment Enter, uh, entertainment news we got for you on my channel. Now, you know, we're going to go back and talk about Portia because Portia didn't hear a lot of Real Housewives of Atlanta. They love staying in the media, okay? Some they put out there themselves and some drop tea on their behinds. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. We just here to sip it all up, okay? And try to decipher what's true, what's fake, what's fraudulent, and what ain't nothing but total fuckery and foolishness, okay? But y'all already know pretty much how I feel about this situation with Dennis and Portia. So we won't even go on and give you my spiel. Okay, we're just going to go on and get into what the article said. And see if we can uh, take in and, and find any relevancy of what this young lady is going to do. You know, just having the nice ring, the nice house, uh, the baby... All the material things is not going to make Portia Williams happy. You know what I'm saying? She wants the ideal family just like Kenya. But sometimes you can't sacrifice your soul and your mentality just to say you got a man. And that's all I'm going to say. We're going to get right on into the article. Again, it was written by none other than Amanda Niles. She's over there doing what she got to do when it comes to bringing out these stories. And she be trying to bring them out abundantly. And I'm here for it. Yes, I am here for it. Okay? But, um, Portia Williams was kind of bold over there on her Instagram account. I don't know if she deleted them or not. But she got a clown emoji. She got, I'm done. Da da dee da da da. I personally don't know if it's true or not because Portia been here and there with this situation. And she's trying, to, to me it seems like she may be trying to drive her interest in providing a very nice platform uh, to make herself look good for season 13 and to get more money uh, by having a uh, storyline after storyline after storyline. But of course Portia... That whole storyline with Mr. Dennis and y'all coming together, separating together, coming together for the baby, separating again. It's going to get too drawn out and it's just going to be like whatever. Because Candy tried to tell you before you even got pregnant, before you really even got invested in trying to have a relationship with Dennis. She tried to tell you. Okay? So sit where well, we ain't going to even bring up Cecilia Ward here. Who else tried to tell you? Uh, Tasha K. Uh, uh, Atlanta Utah blogger tried to tell you. And then Dennis was sitting up there talking about he gonna sue the poor po child. And I'm like, well, how you gonna sue somebody? You sitting up here and dropping it, dropping it low and spreading it wide, Dennis. Okay? And you ain't got several women tattoos all over your body. Alright? But again, like I said, uh, Tasha K tried to tell Portia, warn her way before a baby even came in the situation. She tried to tell you about all his demeanor and his ways. But you just went up there and looked like, okay, I hear it. But I ain't letting you in. I'm not letting you in. I'm not going to even feed into it. So, months later, you came up pregnant. You became a baby mama. And you still ain't solidified the title as in married. And it's joking on allegedly cheated again okay so let's get on into this story that was brought out on you by amanda niles over there at urbanbellmag.com she titled her article real housewives of atlanta star portia williams throws a jab at dennis mckinley and it states that she's ready to spill the tea now Portia, what kind of tea would that be bestiality tea uh it got to be something better than him out here cheating, girl. It, it got to be something better because we already knew that on these streets, okay? But if you want to come find bestiality, go on and get into it, okay? Then he got to go and hide in the somewhere, honey. Ooh, because the social media would be tearing him up. I don't even know if they would even... Child, that would be salacious and scandalous, girl. Scandalous. Even Andy Cohn would be like, girl. Girl. 
is this allegedly or do you know for the fact he'll be up there trying to have you doing talk shows here and there and there. but now nah, they'll probably call that slanderous and defame uh defamation of character and all that so we'll just go he's just a habitual cheater liar and everything of that sort okay that'll probably stick quicker than a bestiality claim but anyway, going over to the article, it says Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams has been in a roller coaster romance with Dennis McKinley. Dennis cheated on Portia while she was pregnant, but they got back together after getting some counseling and Dennis proposed to Portia again in Canada. Yes, we all saw that mess and we went on, okay? Going back to the article, it said, Well, it seems as if the couple was able to hash out all their issues and move forward. Dennis became a hot topic in the media again. Recently, a video of him having dinner with a small group of women went viral thanks to Radar Online. Okay? Yes, they be having their paparazzi down here in Atlanta. You can't do nothing if you call yourself a celebrity or a reality star celebrity. They don't want nothing but the tea and the sell it to the highest bidder. Yes, they do, girl. Yes, they do, sir. But going back to the article, it says Dennis told Portia supporters that the outing was innocent and he wasn't cheating on Portia with any of the women he was eating with. Uh, but when Portia was asked about it on Watch What Happens Live, she was very sure. And she said people just need to pray for her and Dennis. Uh, Portia, do you want us to pray for you to, uh, lose our interest in him and to definitely harden your heart towards him and move on? Okay, we can do that, Portia. We can do that, but you need to be more clear, baby. You need to clear, uh, you need to tell us what you want us to pray for, girl. <laughs> what, your sanity? What, the, the strength that you can leave this man and not look back and raise your daughter accordingly? All right, girl, what you want us to pray for you for? You got to ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. Tell us, Portia, what you want, girl. Speak your mind. But anyway, that was me. You know how I do sometimes. But going back to the article, it says, um, Dennis told, okay, he said that, uh, Outing was innocent, wasn't he? Wasn't cheating on Porsche with any of the women he was eating with. But when Porsche was asked about it, on um, watch what happens now. She told me we need to pray for him. And Dennis, okay. Well, it looks as if things may have gotten worse. All right, Porsche's latest social media posts have been speculating that she's not happy with Dennis right now. Okay, and then you just had him confess to your mama, his mama, the world at large that he was sorry, he wasn't gonna do this mess again to you, but. You know, is it a storyline, Portia? You trying to throw down our thoughts? Or is this really happening in real life? And we should be more compassionate. You tell me, girl. Tell us. Go on and be more open and honest. Don't be cryptic. Just go on and blast. Put him on blast, girl. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Portia Williams has the attention of a lot of Real Housewives of Atlanta fans right now, about now. Right about now, I'm sorry. After a video of Dennis McKinley having dinner with a group of other women was released by Radio Online, Portia hasn't said much. She would only tell Andy Cohen that she doesn't really know what to believe, but people should pray for her and Dennis. Earlier today, Portia threatened to spill some tea and refer to someone as a clown. Many of her followers suspect her messages could be about Dennis. Check out the screenshots below. If you go on her Instagram account, if she still has them posted, it says about to tell it all. Then another one has done. Then another one shows a clown face. Uh-huh. And that's pretty much it of that article, y'all. So I'm asking you all, do you think Dennis is a serial cheater? Okay, he just can't help himself. He just love every woman he come across and he just got to get with her. He think he back in his 20s, his heydays. He just won't get off that freak train. Or y'all think it's a storyline and trying to solidify Portia another season uh, on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Which Portia, everybody like Portia, you know what I'm saying? We don't think she's the rightest, uh, how you call it, the sharpest tool in the shed. But she can, she has her moments when she definitely gives us entertainment, okay? So I wouldn't put her out with the, with the, uh, well, I wouldn't throw her out with the, what you call it? I wouldn't throw the baby out. I wouldn't throw Portia out with the bath water, okay? I see potential in Miss Portia, yes. I see potential, girl. 
So y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know what y'all felt about this article. How do y'all uh, reflect for the future for her and Dennis? Do you think they will eventually make it down the aisle? You know, I'm, I'm sure she got a lot of supporters that want to see her go on and marry this man and try to have a happy life. Uh, try to have a happy life, and thinking that his infidelity, his cheating ways, his philandering ways is in the past. While others, such as myself, like cut it loose, girl, cut it out, go on about your business. Listen to what Tasha K said and drop tea for you. Information receipts. Think about what Candy Burris told you. Okay, and Candy Burris ain't the one to lie. She's a bone carrier. She's a snitch, you know what I'm saying? Snitches get stitches, but, you know, it just hear what it is. She can't hold no water, but she ain't no liar, you know what I'm saying? So, and your sister Lauren done definitely got in your behind about the man. She already told you, pump your brakes, stop going after this man like you are not worth anything, Okay. Because Lauren's standing in her own shit. She had a failed marriage. Such as your mom had a failed marriage. It might be a generational curse. I don't know. But the proof is in the pudding, Portia. What does it have to do for you to get married? To get divorced six months later down the road? Or a year later? Girl, stop holding up the inevitable. Look at the signs that are out in front of you. Look at the uh, stuff that's written on the wall. Okay, girl. But anyway, that's all I have for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? And share, share, share my videos, loves. Thank you. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.